Howdy friends, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to go for a walk. It is actually beautiful outside comparatively to how it has been. It's 40s, like 46 degrees outside, which is like summer compared to what we've been having, um, which is cold. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna last, so I'm gonna go for a walk. I was just out. Um, I had to go to um, Albertsons and the Family Dollar. Let me show you what I got there. Let me turn on this light. Um, had to get a few things, but I was out and I was just wearing this, my turtleneck. I didn't even have a jacket on. Surprising to me because I am used to having a jacket all the time, so. I had to put two things away because they were getting a little melty in the car. But let me pull them out and I'll show you what I got. And then we're gonna do, put a load of laundry in, um, pull out what I already washed, fold it up. Sorry, I'm like, oh, perfect there. And then um, we're gonna go for a walk and play some Pokemon. Let me know in the comments, are you interested in a Pokemon? Because if I, if you're not, I can put it on my other channel. I have an other, I have three. Three channels in total. I have an old one that I used to do, my very first one, that I used to do like meditations on. And then I changed to doing like unboxings. And now I just haven't put anything up there in a long, long time thinking about using that and just using it for Pokemon. That one is called This Delightful Life. And then I have A Delightful Life, which is my other, that's the one that I moved my like meditations and um, self-improvement journey onto. And then I have this one, which is more of my like life in general. Um, I've been trying to keep it more towards like hoarding, but I realized that's probably not going to be exclusive because I don't have that much stuff anymore. But um, let me show you what I got at the store before I ramble on. Here is my haul. This is all Albertsons. And this is the dollar, or family dollar, which I spent a whole dollar and five cents. Because I needed this. Because I have vases and stuff to wash. And um, they had one at Albertsons, but it was like $3. And I was like, why? I don't need it to be special. I just need to clean a couple of vases and my husband's coffee thermos. So this has a little like suction cup thingy. It's green because it's for baby bottles, but I don't care. And then it's got like a little brush down there. Then at Albertsons, I got bone broth, of course. Um, let's see, my total spend there was $40.16. I spent $6.98 on those two bone broths, and I saved $2. Um, then I got the all for $10.99. It was regularly $22.99. So I saved $10 and then I had a $2 store coupon. So this is what I got for laundry soap right now. And actually I found that at Family Dollar, the Tide one that I like, which was actually a bigger bottle, had more loads. This one has 79 loads. The Tide one has 111, I think, was $10. So next time I'll go there. But I've got this for now, and it looks like it'll clean everything. I need to order on um, Amazon some bluing to get my whites white. We will go on that journey. Um, then I got the Open Nature Dish Liquid, which is one of my favorites. Um, I got lavender this time. I had been getting citrus. But I thought I'd try the lavender. I usually like pear, but they haven't had that one for a long time. So I got that for $3.49. I saved 50 cents there. Then I've been enjoying this plain dairy-free coconut yogurt. Um, it's super good. 
and that one was five ninety nine. And then I say, or I got this bag of wild blueberries. That is three pounds, and that one was twelve. Originally fifteen ninety nine. I got it for twelve ninety nine, and I also had a dollar off. Um, coupon for frozen foods, so I saved $4 on that guy. So, all in all, saved, uh, or I spent $40.16, and my savings was $18.50. Pretty sweet. Um, I got this one um, yesterday at Smith's because they were out of the other one that I buy. Um, this one is Silk Almond milk unsweetened vanilla I'm not the biggest fan of it I like the coconut one it tastes much better let me put this stuff back in the fridge I'm uh, I am enjoying the coconut milk one not so much the almond one but I'll still eat it because I don't like wasting food and it's not like that bad it's just not that good <laughs> Um, I did find a somewhat solution for my laundry soap. Let me show you what I'm doing in here. Oh, you did see my Family Dollar stuff, um, before this video started. Um, I, like, recorded some of the, um, Easter stuff. They don't have very much, like, good stuff there, so it is what it is. I got some clothes in the dryer, but I got right now going on until I get some glass jars. I've just been refilling these little ones and using those. This one is still full. And then I had this little, these were all from when I was going to the laundry room, if you remember. Um, I filled this with OxyClean. This has, of course, pine salt, and these two have laundry soap, so I don't have to keep this big container in my laundry room. I still need something to put the fabric softener in, but we shall find that. And then this little basket holds my little scoops and um, the cap thingies, but I don't need this many of them. I can probably get rid of these guys because now I've got another one right here. All right, let's get the laundry out of the dryer. All right, that's finished. I have to fold the laundry. I'm not gonna put you through that. It's not very much. Just this, and I still need to squish up the pillows. Yeah, this is a sheet and a few clothing items. I shall put that away here very soon. But first, I'm going to go for a walk and play some Pokemon Go. And then I'll come back and put the clothes away. So, 
let me put my jacket on. Since I'm going a little bit further and it's starting to get a little bit breezy outside, I'm going to put on my jacket to go. And then um, I'll come back and fold up laundry. But again, I won't put you through that. As you can see from me refilling the um, laundry soap, my um, essential trimmer is coming back a little bit. I had gone almost a month without taking DMAE because I ran out and I forgot to refill it. So it does work, but you have to take it um, consistently. And I had been taking it for like a year. Yeah, like a year and a half. So just know it's something that you have to take ongoing to fix it. It's still not as bad as it used to be. I'm holding the camera with my hand. It really is only when I'm trying to hold things like, and I'm nervous about them being steady. So as you can see from the amount of shaking that the camera's doing, it's not that bad. So barely at all. <laughs> I'm like, I'm monitoring it. <laughs> Anyway, let's go for a walk. Alrighty, I'm heading out to go play Pokemon Go. The wind has picked up and the sun is gone. But it's still like 30 degrees out here, so it should be just fine. It's not nearly as cold as it has been when I've tried to do this. So, I'm feeling confident. But, uh, most of my video will be... Um, me showing you what I'm doing on my screen. So I'll turn on the AR so you can see where I'm actually going, which should be fun. But yeah, I put on my jacket and my scarf, so, and I have my gloves, so that I can, um, be warm enough and not have to rush back home. But yeah, let me show you what we've got going on here. A lot of the snow and ice have melted. A lot of the parking lot is visible. So, just the wind is uh, picked up. So not terrible. It's just a little cold. Mostly the wind, but my jacket is blocking the wind for me, so. Anyway, I'm gonna get my game going and uh, show you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna go over to the park and then walk back. So, I'll show you that and then uh, I'll come back briefly to end the video and that will be that so I will see you shortly you're gonna hear my gu husband's guitar in the background but here we go putting on our daily incense and first thing we catch is a lick of tongue I'm also opening the window so you might hear outside noises I didn't get anything like exciting on this uh, daily incense. I never do around my house. Sometimes it's hard to tell if they're part of the uh, daily incense. This bunnelby was, so I caught him. And sometimes I click on things to shiny check them, but I already have a shiny Wobbuffet and a shiny Natu, so I didn't check them. Then I got a Bruxish on the incense. And then I got a Teddy Bear, so I love those. They're so cute. I really want a shiny one. They're green. They look like little gummy bears. I have the AR turned on so you can see where I'm going as I'm walking around instead of it just looking green <laughs> and kind of bizarre. 
another Bruxish. I can't remember if I got any actually good Bruxish on the incense or at all during the time that it was spawning. My buddy today is Mel Metal, which is my favorite. I've got the Wingle going on here. And he wanted to be a bouncing around all over the place, so. Caught him. We are almost at the park. Got a uh, shuckle, which are completely useless, but you know. Whatever. <laughs> Had to check this cottony. And then I checked the coughing just to make sure they're not shiny. Then I got a rufflet on the incense and caught him. And we're almost to the little playground area. There's a rock rough raid going on. That's why he's standing on top of the gym. We cut another wingle. I'm just basically walking around trying to get this incense to pick up some critters before it runs out. Hatched an egg, an inke. It was the first one that I've ever had, so it is now in my Pokedex. is almost done if you can hear it back there now I'm just showing you what the uh, the park looks like I'll show you better at the end because I do a like sign off kind of thing and then I went into this rock rough raid but I back out because I realize I still have time on my incense and I want to use it up and then I end up going back in. So you'll see me fight Rock Ruff and catch, I believe I catch him, but let's see what we get. My raid pass will still be there because I didn't start. Well, it would have been there even if I did start. Found a Ladybug. Those don't normally spawn in my area, so it's cool to see them. I don't know what that message was. <laughs> Somebody My dryer play, washer and dryer play a little song when they're done. I still haven't figured out what song it is. Alright, my daily incense is done, so now I'm gonna go do this raid. It's just a one star raid, so I can totally do it by myself. There was a point in time that I couldn't, but I can now. The worst part about raids is waiting <laughs> for the timer to run down. It's just giving time for other people to join. Um, but there was nobody else but me in the park. Well, there was a f some folks walking their dog, but they ended up leaving, so. It is just me. And I can totally do it by myself. I think I didn't even have one. Like, I don't even think Groudon got all the way down in power, maybe? I don't remember. Yep, there he is. He didn't, it just, it didn't even take my energy down halfway, so. And now I get to catch the little guy. I 
And he is a bouncy one. He didn't want to stay in the ball. Like, come on, Rockwell, stay in the ball. There we go. We got him that time. And he was decent. Not good, but alright. Alright, that's it. I'm done. It's cold. The uh, sun went down and it got a lot colder. I wanted to show you what it looks like out here at the park because it's all melty. It looks kind of weird. The retention, or the detention pond. <laughs> it's just flowing. I was trying to get some of it when I was catching, well, I just went into catch a Pokemon mode so that I could look around with the AR thing, but there's a better look at it. It is totally flowing, like a little river. We needed the water though. It has been very dry here. There's how it looks out. I'm gonna head home. I'll see you later. Peace out. My hands are all red because <laughs> they're cold. Peace out. Bye.